the women that I think are really interesting are, you know, of course there's people like Susan B. Anthony or Elizabeth Cady Stanton, but um, some of the women that I've done research on, like Carrie Chapman Catt, who was a suffrage president later uh, in the 1900s, and then May Arkwright Hutton, who was right here in Idaho, who was a suffragist and a labor activist, and um, people like Alice Paul, who was the new generation of suffragists who really kind of made a more militant stance and, and really took next steps in making sure that women's voices were heard. I think the value of studying women in history is the same value of studying history in general, which is to understand our story and to understand ourselves and to make connections with the people in the past and really find, um, you know, our way forward. If you dig a little deeper, you can find the power and the agency and the roles that women found kind of in the in-between spaces of history. And I think that's really important for especially young girls and women today as we face challenges uh, about our own power within our own society and how we can find those ways that we can make a difference.